What's going on, y'all? My name is David. I'm with RVFamily.life. I've lived in an RV for two and a half years with my family, and I love to go and do tours of RVs that would work great for a family. Right here, we've got the Brinkley Model Z 3110. This is uh, one of their newer bunk rooms, and I like it because it's got a few unique differences over the other Brinkleys, because a lot of the Brinkleys are starting to look the same in certain aspects. This one's got quite a few different things, so let's go take a look at this one. Now this, they've got, uh, looks like, yeah, hydraulics. Hydraulic lift jacks there, and there's your hydraulic system. You've got solar charge controllers, batteries in here. Looks like just a standard battery. I thought they were doing lithium on these, but maybe not. Let's go over here and look at some of the details. Here is the sticker. Let me get some, can you see it? All right, what do we got? Gross vehicle weight, 15495 Okay, and they're estimating about, uh, don't go over, not estimating, approximating, 3,167 pounds of cargo capacity. So that's a pretty good number. Got the wet bay in here. One of the things I always love on Brinkley's, electric gate valves for your gray and black, as well as this retractable hose right here. And I love this style of leveling system. It's still a lippert, but I remove the uh, touch pad that I have to go inside for. I get all my errors and everything manual all right here at this control board. So that is something I really appreciate. And we have got, oh, another thing I love too is how they split the door right here. And so I could open up just this one for the wet bay and run hoses down through the bottom right there. Here is the hot water heater, 50 amp connection, our furnace. And I love that I can access the furnace from this panel right here because on our open range we live in, all we have is a vent. And I have to do all the work through the inside of the RV. It's just a terrible mess. Right here we've got storage for stinky slinkies and a connection for black tank and gray tank. It's got some Cooper H rated tires down there. Man, look at that suspension. This is the major slide for the kitchen. Let's go around and see what else we can see on this. My apologies that the wind is getting you there. How many jacks does that have? Just the two? Yeah, just two. Two in the front, two in the back. It doesn't have six. Wow, the wind just came up really nuts over here. Now look at this storage bay in the back of this RV. That is huge. A smaller compartment down there. There's a little light right there. Got some electrical outlets. Is this a... Oh, yeah, there's... LED lighting going around here that I just turned on. And you can access this from both sides. You got a ladder right there. Now all the storage is underneath of the bunk room. Here's a look at the, the couch slide. Let's go to inside and take a look. One of the things to watch out for when you go to these RV shows, if JD from Big Truck Big RV has been here, this is the sticker that he approves of this RV. Now they're coming with these Moride safety rails now, which is really nice. They got these Moride steps. I'm not a huge fan of these. I wish they'd go with a solid step, but they do add on things like the screen protector. You've got the bar here to assist with opening and closing the door, as well as your electronic stuff right here where you can do the keypad, but it comes with that. So you don't have to go adding that later. Let's go inside and take a look. All yours now, man. All right, let's get in here and take a look at the living room. We've got three pretty much four seater great for my family but then you add this love seat here now this is totally bonus right so now i'm thinking for the family like hey dad can sit here girls can sprawl out mom can fit in this is a comfy cozy place for the family got lots of storage a lot of beautiful lighting i love that mirror back there we don't have anything that pops up on this one but that's all right i've got the good size sink and i always love how they use this dark metal in the brinkley's Nice faucet right there. Let's take a look at the pantry. Adjustable shelving going up with a plug-in in there. So I guess it's like if you wanted to put your coffee maker right there, you could be running coffee through there or you could use the small taco bar right here. Got a light overhead, power right here in the corner. Comes with a backup camera when you get a Brinkley. And it also comes with your tire pressure monitoring system. And Brinkley's use one of the best tire pressure monitoring system. I believe we've got a 12 volt fridge and freezer here. It's pretty nice looking. Doesn't have an ice maker though, but ice makers in an RV is pretty rare. We are blessed that we have that. Plenty of storage. It's a good size oven. 
I'd still wish that uh, somebody would pay attention to my idea and take out the oven and put in an air fryer. But that's just me, wishful thinking. I do love a lot of these are self-closing, like that. As far as trash, they are totally winning in the trash department. Plus they've got this drawer right here where you've got the paper towel dispenser roll holder words. Sometimes I struggle with words. Join me, won't you? Help me find better words by leaving me a comment down below. You have a TV on the elevator. It's called the Televator. And it's got a really big fireplace down below. I'm loving it. So let's take a look now at the bunk room. Now, first off, you have doors. But I gotta ask, if you're on the inside, how do you close the door? They didn't put any handles on the inside. So if my girls wanna go to bed and they wanna close the door, it's kind of odd. We'll take a look at that here in a moment. So not a huge bunk room, a little bit claustrophobic for a big tall guy like me, who's standing right here between the wall and the bed, it was a little tight. But you've got, uh, looks like two small drawers, two big drawers. Oh, look at that, there's power in there. Oh, okay. So imagine your kiddo's got a Nintendo Switch. HDMI port there, HDMI port there. They can get it all set up and they can be over here playing in their bunk. They got a cubby over there as well. And then that table right there is something that can add to the living room. It's just being stored there for the moment. But they've got a window right there. It's only covered right now by that storage door outside. But you're not gonna have that storage door open all the time. So that's not a big deal. I wanna look at one of these big drawers. Okay, that's a pretty good amount of space. So now let's look at, I mean, it's not impossible to close the door, but that's a little tough. Why didn't they put any handles in here? Kind of weird. Dimmer. Ooh, that's messing with the camera. Ha! And then they also have these fold up hooks in here. So you can hang stuff there if you want to, or you can get it out of the way. So I'm overall loving this space. I think that this is an absolutely great living space. It would work very well for our family. Let's take a look at a few other details in here, like your control board. I'm always delighted when I don't see the Lippert One Touch control because I just don't like that. I like some kind of manual button system. Now this is all theirs. Brinkley has this proprietary. That could still be problematic if you have to get special parts. Nice big coat closet. Now that's impressive. What do we got up here? That's really tall. So I'm 6'3", without stepping on the stairs. Yeah, I can see I would, if this were our RV, I'd be the only one that could get up here. It's probably where the camera gear would go. AC controls. Now we've got magnets to hold the door open. That's the kind of stuff that really makes me love Brinkley. Like this. This is your toilet paper holder. You can slide it around wherever and magnetically hold it to the side. Have a nice angle on the toilet to give you a, uh, what, what does uh, Matt call it? The prime pooping position. There's the on-demand hot water heater controller. I think that shower would accommodate me. We got the Max Air fan going up here to make sure that this place is smelling nice and fresh. Hello there. Plug-ins over here, lights. The sink is a little on the small side. That's interesting. Now what is this? Huh. Serviceable area, I guess. It's nice that they made it so you don't have to take that apart. Always love these types of shower heads. Used to be such a struggle to try to figure out how to get those. Is that? It looks like they blacked out the skylight. That's interesting. Now, here's the closet. So the closet and the sink are in the slide. Ooh, they, oh, I love these light bars for the closet rods. That is just one of my favorite things about Brinkley's. So the fact that this is a different design than what we're used to, but they brought that over, makes me happy. Now, Tanya and I, we like the north-south bed. I just prefer this. I like having the little tables on the sides. I have a big fan that I put next to my bed but I'm loving like those light bulbs. Oh, I love a classic style light bulb like that. This is just such a, a nice area. I'm really happy that they opted to do not always the where you put the bed in the slide. I'm glad that they came out with a little bit of variety. 
little bit of extra hooks. Now this is similar to our open range and the fact that you can go through the bathroom. Let's take a look at what this is, looks like. So it's got a locking mechanism on this pocket door. So this, if this were me, I would close off this door and I would be sitting over here in the corner and figure out some kind of way to have my computer over here. All right, so yeah, I probably would still have like, I've got the table that goes up and down, put that here and sit on the edge of the bed and probably wouldn't use this door anymore. I know some people would consider that to be bad, cutting yourself off for fire safety. Yeah, I get all that, but I do still have a fire escape right here. Ahoy! Ahoy, mate. So you turn this light off. Here we go. And it's not big up there. Now in our open range, I can't hardly get down the side of the bed because then when that slide would come in over there, it pushes my bed across. So what Tanya and I did was we just left it over there. So any of that storage up there, I have to crawl across my bed just to get to it. So it looks like the door doesn't lock open. It only locks in a closed position. Oh, and they got hooks right there. And I like this, uh, sorry, it's a little warm on here. The secondary mirror is pretty nice. I love it. There's a family that just came in with a couple of young girls and they're just so excited about this Brinkley. Just daydreaming about where everybody's gonna sleep and where everybody's gonna sit. And it's just, it's adorable. That's the kind of stuff I am so in it for this lifestyle is getting the kids involved and getting them out, getting them camping. It's great, I love it. So this Brinkley is a, a tremendous addition to their product line. I am really delighted with the changes and the differences they've made. The wind keeps kicking up right here. I'm trying to end the video and it's like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. All right, y'all. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video of the Brinkley Model Z 3110. I'm impressed. This might be one of my favorite Brinkley so far. I think it's a, a great choice and it's a, uh, party price in case you have uh, been paying attention we're at the uh, dfw rv party eighty nine thousand nine eighty eight for a brinkley bunkhouse i like the build quality on brinkley's i think that they bring a lot to the game and i think that that is a very reasonable price for what you get in this trailer so i am super stoked for this one well thank you so much for watching our video remember that life happens don't let it stop you stay fresh cheese bags